Good evening. I called to call, call the meeting of the Housing, Human Welfare, Housing, and Community Development to order the uh, this March meeting. Uh, Alderman Lipman's here. Uh, myself, Alderman Kirby's here. Staff with the Miss Sydney Gaines, uh, Miss Teresa Wellman. Uh, which also should reflect that Miss Miss Terry Bond is present. Uh, Ms. Uh, Jacqueline Wells is present, and uh, Ms. Uh, Terry Hahn, uh, Jeanette Hahn is present. And with that, uh, first business before the committee is approval of the minutes of our, uh, would that be the April, or no, February meeting. Mr. Chair, I, um, I move that we postpone approval of the minutes. I, was, I did not attend that meeting, and Alderman Budge, who did attend, is not present today. So oh, okay. I would assume that the minutes accurately reflect, but I would not be able to accurately uh, do that. Okay. Okay, so I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Carried. We will do the uh, Sorry, notice that I had done. February and March minutes at the same time at, at our meeting in April. So, general discussion, ID-82-17, Community Development Block Grant Funding Recommendations. I apologize, I didn't recognize that. And think about the minutes issued beforehand. That's okay. And ID-91-2, ID the law end of our Community Development Block Grant House Rehabilitation Deferred Loan Amount from $40,000 to $30,000. So I think we'll take that first issue first, ID-82-17, Community Development Block Grant Funding Recommendations for FY18. Okay. Um, I hope everybody got my slight change to the uh, Community Action Agency and OIC. I made a little math error. Um, I was in such a hurry to get these out that um, before I left that I had a little math error, so I corrected it. Um, so I think everybody has the one I sent out this afternoon. Um, basically, what I did with um, the public service projects this year is um, of course, read through all the applications I did, even though I wasn't at the meeting in February, I did watch it on television, so. <laughs> As did I. <laughs> Good questions, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I did get to see everybody's um, presentation. Um, on the public service projects, basically since Pretty much everybody's doing the same thing that they were doing before, um, with a couple of exceptions that I'll talk about. Um, I tried to level fund everybody to the same amount of funding that they had last year, except for two. Um, the first one was the Community Action Agency. Um, the Community Action Agency has, has um, been managing the city's um, rental allowance program, which is a homeless prevention program um, for years. And now they've taken on full responsibility. The money goes directly to them now. It doesn't come to us. And also, we've been sending people, seems more people, to housing counseling. Um, last year, if I had had more money, I would have given them more than $2,000. But that's all we had. So I just up there is a little bit. And the same with Leston Tech. Leston Tech um, you know, started out as a tiny little organization. They're still pretty tiny in terms of how many people they have, but they're doing five times as much work. Um, they were able to get offices um, at the Department of Social Services, and they're working um, very closely with the county's housing, um, homeless housing coordinator um, so they've been pretty much um, doing way more than they were doing when they first came in. So, I mean, it's just a little bit amount of money, which was only like five, $500. But for an organization that runs bare bones like they do, $500 could take care of supplies and stuff for them. 
Um, basically, where I got the money was from uh, just a, you know, a few dollars from Samaritan House and some money from OIC. Um, so that's basically what I did with, with the public service. Um, on the capital project, that was hard because I really wanted to fund them all fully, but again, ran out of money. And I don't even know if we're going to get the same allocation as we got last year. I should have said that in the beginning. But we don't have a budget yet. They're still running on a continuing resolution. We don't expect to get the budget until sometime in April. We don't know what they're going to do. Um, everybody's kind of guessing that maybe they'll just level fund it or maybe take a little bit away, but we really don't know. So um, Arundel Lodge, I tried to give them as close, um, you know, to what they asked for. Um, Newtown, since, you know, they only asked for $3,000, um, I level funded them. Um, the, um, oh wait, I'm sorry, Arundel Lodge I did fully fund. Newtown I did fully fund. Samaritan House I gave them as close to what they got last year for their facility. Um, the Housing Authority, Main Street Housing is a new, is new, and basically they're very similar to Arundel Lodge except for their housing is totally, they're independent, whereas Rundle Lodge has staff that stay there with the people. So they have on-site staff. Um, Main Street Housing helps people with mental illness, but they're on their own, so it's independent living, and then they get supportive services. So that's pretty much the difference between those two organizations. Um, they Ms. serve the same population, um, and we do have a goal of providing housing for special needs. It's so hard for people um, to get housing and basically um, what they needed it for was to put in a bathroom. Um, I did talk to them. I reduced them down to $9,000 because they were able to get another $3,000 um, grant from someone else and I thought, well, maybe they could make up the rest of the difference. Um, the housing authority I fully funded um, it turns out the Stanton Center is in that Public Works lighting project where they're upgrading all the lighting in the city. So Public Works is going to cover them when, when Archie put the application and he didn't know about that. Um, so, um, and then um, our housing rehabilitation program, um, you know, we try to do at least three. That's our goal that would cover um, and then the project administration basically is to, which covers the cost of, of all the things that they have to do to do the project. Um, Baltimore Neighborhoods um, funded at $3,000. One of our requirements is that we further fair housing. We sign off, the mayor signs off certifying that we do that. And um, that's what made, that's what Baltimore Neighborhoods does for us. It provides landlord-tenant services, um, assistance to people who have landlord-tenant issues. This year, I think we're going to look at testing. Um, we have some issues in the city, one of which I'd like to test, and that's whether or not landlords are actually accepting Section 8 certificates. Um, they're supposed to, but I hear from a lot of people that there's ways that they're getting around it. So. Um, that's what those, that funding would go to look, look at those issues. So assuming that, um, you know, we get the same amount of money. Now, you'll probably notice that there's a little bit more. I did come, um, we did get $18,000 worth of program income. So I added that on and that goes, gets added onto the capital project. Um, may be able to scrounge up another 3000 <laughs> depending on the outcome of my meeting with our finance person on Thursday. Um, and I'll let you know if I'm able to do that. So that's basically, um, that's basically it. 
Mm -hmm. what, can you tell me what Main Street Housing is? It's the housing for people with special needs that have mental illness issues. Yeah, where, where are the facilities? It's, it, they're individual houses. It's just like is a it rental. Is downtown here? There's, they, have, they own one, um, I think the address is in, in the grant. Um, on West Street? I want to say it's, no, I think it's, is it an Annapolis Overlook? Um, oh, Annapolis Overlook, okay. Hmm. That's 4-5. It's, it's probably an episode below. I think it is. It's 626 Island Creek Court. Oh, no, that's off of Greenbrier. That's, that's is that where it is? Okay. That's where, uh, that's where Rocky Gorge is ready to come through. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's that little area right in there. Yes. That's, uh, it was just a fire down there. I hope it wasn't them. I'm sorry? It was a fire down there. I think there. he would have called me. Oh, okay. And let me know. Yeah, there was a fire down there. It's a pretty large one that's out here. Yeah, so they're basically the same as, similar to Arundel Lodge, only they don't have staff that stay in the property um, with the people there. It, it's in more independent living where the people get supportive services off site. That's right. And he wanted to put a bathroom in there, correct? Yeah. Yes. I do remember. So that he can increase the amount of people he's allowed to. I do to, remember. That. He yes. can have. Teresa, you said that. Um, Newtown's DDC asked for three thousand. They no, they asked for um, ten. They always ask for ten. Okay, okay. But I kind of because we have so little public service, we could we could put them in the public. They can go in either place. They can go in public service or they can go in capital projects because there's a separate eligibility criteria for micro businesses. But I always pull them out because. Um, I know, think it I makes think it's a good project, but I don't want to. It makes sense to put them there because of the funds available. It's just that when you presented, I thought you said they. Asked I probably for did. Three, yeah, and I, I just want to make sure the chart. I was, was on right. vacation for a week, so my brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I think you did a remarkable job uh, maintaining the level funding from uh, the previous years and. And, and I know that uh, the Samaritan House will continue to get resources from other places just because that the issues they deal with is, is supposedly top priority. Right. So I just don't. As a matter of fact, I was on the police station this morning with uh, that substance abuse program ASAP. And uh, very interesting. There is an Annapolis chapter. I mean, if, if we do get, if I do scrounge up another $3,000, I wouldn't mind even in them out to 25 um, with that. I echo uh, the chair's comments. Uh, Ms. Woman, I appreciate the work that you put in. Um, this group has now been doing pretty much the exact same group been doing this for four years, five years, as it's presently constituted, and the same gr the groups haven't changed, <laughs> their missions haven't changed. Um, I think you've gotten the sense from the group of where we, uh, pr what we prioritize, and appreciate the legwork that you put in to either meet the requests or do level funding, as the case may be, throughout the list. Um, so. Um, unlike past times, I, I don't come in with a laundry list of where I'm going to ask to take money and put money. I th I'm satisfied with the list that you, uh, the recommendations that you've made. Thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> so that means that means Trump's going to fool us. He's going to give us more <laughs> and make us do this all over again. That would be a good problem. It would be. Yeah, it would be a good problem. To have. I'm hoping um, that people really rally to support CDBG. I know I spoke with the, you know, the county and they're going to do something. I'm going to try to go back 20 years and show what we've done in the last 20 years with block grant money. Um, because basically, if you read the email that I sent, it said that they don't see that it's making a difference. Yeah. And I, I just can't. Yeah. No, no demonstration of any benefit. Yeah. I mean. Right. It's, if you don't ask the question, then you don't get the answers, right? Mm -hmm. 
They haven't asked the question, so they don't have the answer. And I, and I heard one. I heard that the I think the business of commerce dinner this year. Oh, if it wasn't the chamber of commerce breakfast, I, I heard that uh, uh, these nonprofits is like the third largest employer in the state of Maryland. So it's okay. not just yeah. Not, okay. No. I can't imagine that to be true. No. Yeah, I mean, there's. No, well, these nonprofits don't hire a lot of people. Across the state. Could it be the nonprofit sector? Because isn't John Hop Johns Hopkins, and then yeah, is, and that's the biggest yeah. employer in Maryland, so yeah. it might be skewed that way because of some of those big right. nonprofits like Johns Hopkins. Right. There are are a lot of big. Oh, they may have been. And there's nonprofit housing they developer. Uh, you know, I mean, there's. They may not been state of Maryland. They could have. That could have been a national number. I I just thought it 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 woke me up, but I I can't remember whether it was just the state or. Yeah. the county or I, I just heard no it's it's probably true I mean I would imagine that it's true yeah. so that's a lot of jobs well, that would go away we, aside from the jobs just the what these and not only what these entities do for our community but what it would cost the city oh or the God. county to provide those same services Absolutely. would be many times over the cost I, I even like less than tax I don't know how they're doing it because Right. And so what are I they mean, I think yeah. those folks are volunteering a lot of their time. Right. It's, it's somewhat of a game. The idea that so the federal government doesn't fund these so they can reduce the taxes. So that means the counties and the states need to tax, increase their taxes, and they're the bad guys for increasing, increasing taxes in order to provide these same services. It's, did, did it's you a shell read, game. Did you read the wording that they put in, in on that budget page? It was because philanthropic organizations right. are picking. Right. So basically, don't pay it in taxes. Just you know, have individuals right. donate. I mean, people will donate the same money that they have to pay in taxes if you just don't charge them taxes because mm -hmm. they won't decide to save or buy some other things instead for that money. Yeah. It's silly. It's illogical. So, are we uh, are, are we comfortable with going putting this? forward to the full council before no, the allocation? Not, no, it's not going to. I can't really. Um, I have to wait until we actually get our number. Out of ward, okay. Because we yeah. can't even. Yeah. I think they said we could advertise our action plan, but we can't vote on it. So I'm going to, I have to kind of go back to the drawing board and figure out what our schedule is going to be. Because the other thing is it has to go before the finance committee, which is now moved its meetings around and it I had this whole thing set up and everything changed so yep. <laughs> is there any action you'd like this committee to take tonight right I will approve this as as it stands now with the notion that it may have to be changed and Mr. Chair I move to <laughs> do what she just said <laughs> <laughs> motion to accept the numbers as they are before us is on the floor second uh, all in favor aye aye, aye. aye. All opposed, same sign, ayes have it. Motion's approved. Thanks, Teresa. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. And then uh, one other issue. ID-91-17, uh, the lowering of our community development block grant housing rehabilitation deferred loan amount from 40000 to 30000 yeah, basically right now we spend $40,000 on each house. Um, you know, in talking to Orlando Community Development Services, um, you know, we kind of talked about it, and between the two of us we decided that it's probably better to do more um, houses doing code enforcement than it is to do fewer houses with, you know, sometimes we don't do all code enforcement. We might replace flooring or replace carpeting which isn't but um, the other thing too is is ACDS is able to add on another fifteen thousand um, dollars in a grant that they get for lead paint so um, the household would get at least 45 to 30 and then this would give us the opportunity maybe to do one more 
one more house. I mean, I can remember when I first came here 20 years ago, it was only $15,000 per house. And we had $450,000 worth of block rent. <laughs> yeah, but we used to do six or seven houses a year. So do you, you? But, but it's, a, it's a policy, so, and it's in our, and it's in our book, it's in our policy book, so it really has to be voted on, or at least you have to be notified, the committee has to. You don't necessarily have to be vote on it, you just need to be notified that that's what we'd like to do. You can vote or not, it's, you know, it's entirely. Mr. Chair, I acknowledge hearing Ms. Bowman's <laughs> presentation. <laughs> Seems to be what she's asking for us to hear it, today. It, it's either way. I mean, I checked with the law office. And okay. Okay. Not, well, you're not asking for a vote. No, okay. as long as you know that that's what I'm going to do, and, and it's public. So recognized. <laughs> We're good. Yep. The chair recognizes it. <laughs> this committee recognizes it. Unless you have uh, any objections. Okay. Well, if there be no more business before the committee. Uh, anything for the good of the water? Just, just you know, I'm going to try to, um, in the next few weeks, get a little bit more organized about how to approach this block grant thing. I, I'm probably, like I said, I'm going to probably put together something that shows the last 20 years, but I also am going to encourage and try, try to do a draft letter for our folks that get the money for them to send in to, con, you know, their representative. And, um, I, I'm, you're probably thinking this already, but personally, if you, I, w I would think that that would be most effective focusing on outcomes and not really focusing on the amount of money granted to these entities, but what right. those entities were able to do. This many homes rehabilitated to provide for this many, to serve this many people, and so on. I mean, I think basically Maryland's representatives are going to fight this, except for maybe one. <laughs> Um, I'm sure we'll get support, but it doesn't hurt to give them ammunition. Yes, exactly. Okay, the chair will entertain a motion if there is any more business. Mr. Chair, I move for adjournment. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed. Thank you. Ayes have it. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Swalman. Thank you. Jack, you need a ride home? I can go your way, yep. <laughs> <laughs>